Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a full face of Wet n Wild makeup. So today I'm gonna to be using some products that I've already tried out and some new ones that I've never tried out. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. So if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe down below and let's get into the video. So usually I start off with primer, um, but I forgot to pick up one. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot about primer. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to skip out on primer today. So next we're gonna move on to foundation. So I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This foundation is one of my favorites out of my entire collection. I've tried a lot of foundations and I just love this one. It's so good. Like I'm always using this foundation in my videos. It's just so, like, it's so good for the price. And I hate to say that, but I mean, it's true. You do expect a more expensive product to be better quality, to work better. And a lot of the times it just isn't the case. Like, that's just... That's just how it is, you know? So the fact that a $6 foundation can work better than a, like, $40 foundation, I don't know. So the one thing about this foundation is that it is great in photos. Obviously, it's called Photo Focus for a reason, so it technically was built to look good in photos. But also has a nice matte finish. It's not, like, super mattifying. Um, it's definitely, like, a soft matte finish, I'd say. And I didn't even use primer with this foundation, and it still looks really good, which is, like shocking because I have pretty big pores especially like right here okay so the next product I have is new and I'm I don't know why I haven't tried this yet but it is the photo focus concealer so um I'm assuming this goes well with the photo focus foundation honestly I didn't even know they had a photo focus concealer because if I did I feel like I would have picked it up since I love the foundation so much so I have high expectations for this it was a nice little doe foot applicator so uh let's just let's just see what happens oh okay it looks pretty pigmented a little bit on my eyes Okay, so let's blend this out. I will say they didn't have a lot of colors of this. I think they had three or four colors at the store. Um, so that's not very good. Definitely need to make some more shades. So uh, the concealer is blending out pretty well. I'm going to add a little bit more... Kind of like on the insides. And let's blend that out. So concealer looks really nice. I wouldn't say it's like super full coverage. I'd say it's um, like a medium to full coverage. But you could definitely build it up. But it looks good so far. So the next thing I am going to put on my face is the... Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. So I actually did a review on this like a while ago. Um, and the video did really well. And I loved this liquid highlighter. Um, it's, it's just really, really beautiful. So this is in the shade Gilded Glow. It's just a nice like champagne-y shade. So what I do is I just like to dot like three dots on my face. Maybe I'll do one like on my nose. Cupid's bow and I'm just gonna take my finger and blend that out like you see how pretty that is it just gives you a really nice natural glow to the skin when you put this like underneath and then put a powder highlighter on top it definitely helps to really like amp up the powder highlighter but you could definitely also just like wear this on its own you definitely use this like if you just want a nice natural glow and you don't really want to put on any like foundation. So when I went to Ulta, they didn't have any like pressed powders. They have some online, but I wasn't trying to order them online. So I have this Mega Glow Contouring Palette that I'm going to use to contour today. But it has a powder in it. So um, I think I might just use 
that powder to powder my face. I mean, why not? And I have used this before and I've never used it to just powder. I'm gonna use it as a under eye brightener, but I always just use like a loose setting powder. So I've never used it as just to set my face. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just powder the rest of my face. Okay, so powder looks pretty good. Okay, so next, I don't have an eyebrow pencil, but I do have this Ultimate Brow Mascara. So I'm wondering if I should just try this out just to kind of see what it looks like without putting anything under um, so we can really tell if it works or not, you know, if there's pigment. So that way we'll really be able to tell if it works or not. So I got the shade nothing but brunette wand looks like this it's actually pretty kind of bigger um usually with these brow tints they make the wands like super super tiny oh it is deepening them see the thing with my brows is i think they're just deep enough but i they're just like the shape isn't that great on them so I feel like I have to go with like a pencil and really just define the shape but you know if you ever want to go super natural with your brows or you just don't have a lot of time to fill them in then you could always go with a brow tint or like a brow gel tint okay so you can definitely see the difference this brow is like way deeper than this brow but I would definitely still just go in with my brow to like define it a little bit but that did a really good job like honestly that looks really good you could definitely just use this and that's it going with a pencil just like really lightly just to define this side I mainly just like to define the end of it because my end isn't very sharp Try to go over this side, just to find things. Okay, so I filled in this side. I kind of just sharpened it up a little bit. So now I'm gonna go in with this brow tint on this side. Uh -oh. I got a little bit on my skin. So hopefully that comes out. It's kind of the only thing with brow tints that I get like scared of using them is because if it gets on your skin, then it like doesn't look too good but I'm gonna kind of brush it out see it really sets the brows into place though like these are like not moving which is a good thing because you don't want your brows to move around so these are the brows that looks just a little strange because I did the tint and then I went in with this and I feel like you're just not supposed to do that it's just the wrong order but I think this side looks pretty good so so far I do like this brow tint. Okay, so next for the face, I'm going to go in with that contouring palette again. And I'm just going to take this side to kind of contour slash bronze. So I really like this palette. It is like $4 for this huge pan. You get a lot of product. Um, I will say the one thing about these though is they are pretty pigmented. The first time I went in with this product, I grabbed like so much and it was just way too much on my face but if you just take a little bit at a time you should be fine so next is a blush and i have this color icon blush in the shade rose champagne rose champagne so i've used this plenty of times before and i really do like their blush formula i do want to pick up more shades of this So for highlighter, I have this Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. Wild highlighters are the bomb. They're so good. I haven't tried Wet n Wild highlighters. Definitely check them out. They're super affordable, um, just super pigmented and metallic. Um, so if you like those kind of highlighters, and okay, you can still see my highlighter just from that liquid highlighter. Put this on top. It's going to be pretty intense Ooh. so yeah like I was saying when you layer these highlighters like 
it's pretty intense but this is like pretty intense on its own so you definitely don't need the liquid highlighter underneath it's just so so pretty if you want like super super glowy skin i would pick up both of these highlighters because they are so good a little bit on my cupid's bow and on my nose okay so next is eyeshadow and wet n wild has these color icon little eyeshadow palettes so this one is called rose in the air and i also love this palette i've used it many many times and it has never let me down i actually did a video with this kind of comparing it to the anastasia mono renaissance palette because if you couldn't tell they have a lot of the same colors so i'm just gonna go in with this transition shade over here i'm just putting this color in the crease but like i was saying yeah i like swatched i did a video comparing this palette to the mono renaissance palette and i did like all i went all in depth on both the palettes did swatches it did an eye look and look at the shades these shades are mono renaissance shades i mean like why spend your money on that palette you know also have other palettes like this that have different shades definitely want to try out some different ones next i'm gonna take this orange shade and i'm just gonna warm up the crease with that like that's so pretty and i believe this palette is uh 4.99 five bucks tell me about our deal seriously and I'm just going to take a little bit of this red shade right here and just going to press that into the outer corner. And I'm going to go back in with this transition shade again and I'm just going to use that to put it on the lower lash line. And I'm also going to take this more cooler toned shade and put that also on the lower lash line so to highlight the inner corner i'm going to take this shimmery gold shade Ooh, that's pretty and i'm going to take this white shade to or it's actually more like a cream shade but i'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone okay eyes are done so next we're going to move on to mascara so i have the wet n wild mega slim skinny mascara so this wand is like super tiny i'm going to assume that this is really good for lengthening the lashes which is what i need it's like super long too so i'm excited to try this mascara out because i'm into lengthening mascaras it looks like a wand where it'd be like a really natural mascara so we will see okay so definitely very lengthening it definitely seems more of a like pretty natural mascara okay so this is with one coat um as you can see my lashes look very lengthened so yeah so far i am a fan of this so let's do the other eye you might need like a few coats to get it like very like volumized because it doesn't really add a lot of volume i mean it definitely adds some but it's just more of a lengthening mascara this can definitely be like everyday type of mascara especially if you don't want to wear lashes or anything like that i'm gonna do two coats just to kind of see what it looks like so this is the mascara with two coats as you can tell it's definitely not like super volumizing but it really lengthened my lashes and i have like really short stubby lashes so i'm a big fan of this mascara i think it looks really good okay so last we have lips and i first got this gel lip liner and this is in the shade per bear to comment so i've never tried this lip liner before and i'm interested to see like it's like a gel lip liner i don't know swatch it oh, oh it's very creamy okay look at that that's the shade 
Um, it seems like it'll just slide right on, so let's see. Oh wow. It's like gliding right on. So I guess that's what they mean by gel. Okay, so I really like this lip liner and I'm thinking I'm gonna buy some other colors because that like just glided on my lips so easily. So now we have lipstick and I'll be using this lipstick in the shade Bear It All. Okay, so let's just go in with this. And I actually bought this like, ugh, when did I buy this? I think I bought this like a year ago because I just kind of read online that this was a dupe for Velvet Teddy from MAC. So I bought it and I honestly don't even know if they're actually dupes. I've never like swatched them by each other. Okay, they look pretty similar. So this is a Velvet Teddy and this is the Wet n Wild lipstick. So, I mean, they look pretty similar, I gotta say. All right, so let's just go in with this. Okay, so that is the lipstick color. So this is my full face of Wet n Wild products. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.